Hello, what is up guys? Prox here and I am back with another video. And I'm gonna keep it short, so just about 10 minutes, I guess. The last one was also out of sync, so I've decided I'm going to release videos more often instead of uh, long videos that are, uh, you know, out of sync and it's so annoying. And uh, This one was, will probably be out of sync as well. It's, uh, they haven't fixed that issue yet. So I'm keeping them short about in uh, 10 minutes. So let's get to it. Let me just uh, start off here by making first part of the buttstock. I'm not entirely sure how, uh, how fat this is or, you know, I'm just going to convert it to an eligible poly right here. And then I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. About so. And then I'm going to move it back again to about here. Like so. And uh, I think I'll. Uh, Zoom out here and extrude the back piece. It's pretty simple. There's a hole here. A little hole in the mesh. Which uh, should be simple fix, but I think I'll I think I'll leave that to the detailing part. It's not that uh, significant that it's required to have in the blocking part of uh, of the modeling. So I'll extrude once again. And this one I'll try to keep, uh, you know, around here, probably halfway into the rubber. And I'm, I'm not sure, but I think I'll make the rubber from this. Now it's a pretty simple shape, luckily enough. Simple shapes are something that I like. Makes it easy to model. What we can do here, since both the insides are gone, is that we can delete the uh, end caps, which will leave a lot of room for geometry changes. Uh, like this, you know, we can use chamfer instead of having to ring and connect everything. So click chamfer and chamfer, uh, chamfer about so. That looks nice, keeps a lo nice low poly count. And a simple tip is basically just to weld the seam like so and there you go and uh, you know as this part is sort of curved will be easily solved when you turbo smooth it basically so affect the pivot and center to the object and uh, don't click that because that'll fuck up your system. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Reset the X form, uh, convert it to an editable poly. There we go. All right, I like it. Now um, I want to ring this, go into surface or polygon mode and then shift move this back just a bit just a tiny bit like so and you can either make an object or an element I'm going to make it an object I'm going to say stock rubber okay good and then I will select the stock rubber, or rubbity rub, and 
derp, derp, derp. Maybe I should inset it? No. I'm just going to move it straight away. Just uh, I'm moving it back and moving this up just a bit. This down. And we're going to have to uh, connect this at least once. Yeah, let's do it like that, and then we chamfer that. It's an easy, easy solution to almost all of our problems. <laughs> and then just even this out, kind of. And then ring this. Now, first I want to be certain about how thick this is. Yeah, this is about there. So I will leave it at that. Oh, ring that. And don't chamfer. That's that's wrong. Connect once. Because uh, as you can see, it sort of tapers in. And uh, that's something that I, I want to include in the base model. Even though it's c kind of a detail, it's, it's still, in my eyes, a worthy, a worthy thing to keep in the base model. Oh, that's too much. Just a smidgy smidge, such a, just a tiny smidge, <laughs> tiny amount can make big differences. Okay. So I like the center ones. So I want to flatten the center out a bit. There we go. And yeah, since that was scaled in, obviously, uh, this entire thing has become sort of wrong in the sense that it's not wide enough. So select the rubber and scale it out, you know, and Make it big for a like here. Mm -hmm. Make it big. Then we'll select the borders. At least this border. And we're going to shift scale it in. And then scale it in on that scale. Like so. What's it say? Like a glove. It fits like a glove. Yes. Now here you wanna, at the back here, you kinda wanna make it uh, all quads. Cause you will, you will be seeing the back. So a bridge that, in fact, uh, bro, that did not like bridging. Bridge that, yeah. And bridge that. And then ring it, connect it once, straight down the middle. Go to the vertex selection mode. And target weld it right up. Like so. Great. Now, I'm going to cut this video right here, and uh, for the next part, I'll be doing the forward part of the buttstock. So I'll see you in the next video.